Today's Colorado Trivia has to do with Dr. Justina Ford, who was Denver's first female African-American doctor, but she was known as the baby doctor. So how many babies did she deliver during her career? 2,000, 5,000, or 7,000? The answer, well, it's estimated that she delivered about 7,000 babies and kept practicing until two weeks before her death in 1952. What an amazing life and career for Dr. Justina Ford. Dr. Justina Ford's former home is now Denver's Black American West Museum. It was recently awarded $150,000 after being voted one of the top 10 U.S. women's history sites in national competition, sponsored by the National Trust for Historic Preservation, National Geographic Magazine, and American Express. To celebrate, Dr. Colorado has uh, with him today a former student, Terry Gentry, of the Black American West Museum. <laughs> Welcome to both of you, former student, right? Yeah. It's important, yes. though. Dr. Colorado, how did you come to know the Black American West Museum? Well, I had heard about this African American barber who was collecting history, doing tape review, tape interviews with people, collecting artifacts. And sure enough, I went down there with Paul Stewart in his barber shop. So I got a haircut, and then I got to hear his story. Here he is on screen. Look at that. That's a great picture. And then you brought with you Terry Gentry today. Terry Gentry. Yeah. Terrific. And great to have you here. You. Now I know that you're a volunteer docent on the board, yeah. board of directors. And can you tell us a little bit about the history of the Black American West Museum? Yes. Um, the museum was started in 1971 by Paul Stewart. He started collecting memorabilia and artifacts in his barber shop over on 34th and Elizabeth when he was a little boy living in Clinton, Iowa, he and his friends would play cowboys and Indians and his friends would tell him there's no such thing as black cowboys because sometimes you want to play a cowboy rather than an Indian. Sure. So when he came out to Denver to visit his cousin in 1962, he met a black cowboy in downtown Denver and that really inspired him. So he came back and started his barbershop and brought artifacts and exhibits from the people that came in to visit his shop and to get haircuts. And eventually all that out through the shop, he started the museum in 1971 at Clayton College, then moved to the basement of KDKO, our black radio station, yeah. for about 15 years, and then moved into Dr. Justina Ford's former home uh, in 1988. It, it was slated to be torn down, and he and Hiawatha Davis and, and Historic Denver and other agencies helped with getting the funds to move the house to its present location at 3091 California Street. What a history. That's outstanding. Now, congratulations on the $150,000 award, and that is for being one of America's top 10 women's history sites. So tell us how the awards uh, funds came to be and, and what they'll be used for. We are extremely humbled and excited that we were granted the funds. Historic Denver nominated us for one of the 20 sites in the United States and there was a competition and we made it in the top 10 of voting. And thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I voted off them. Oh, yes. yeah. it's terrific. Yes, he's, he's been so supportive of the museum from its inception and, and continues to celebrate the museum. Thank you. And so that was part of the process is, is voting and voting and voting. And so we made the top 10 and we're granted $150,000 in historic Denver will over, oversee how the funds are distributed, but it's intended to take care of the windows in the museum and the brick work. And since we're a historic preservation site, there are very, very strict guidelines we have to follow, so they're helping sure. us with that process. Wonderful. And yeah, it's good to have friends, right, who, who want to help you out. Yeah, you wonderful get to have you. people of influence. No <laughs> kidding. And talk about the hours and the days that the museum is open. We're open Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're run by volunteers, so we're always looking for more volunteers so we can expand our hours mm -hmm. to our, our full week again. Okay. Dr. Colorado, what impressed you most about Carrie? Well, as you can see, she's very bright. She brightens up the whole room when she walks in. Yeah. She also has, and we don't have time to get into it, a great family history, a deep roots of her own family in Denver. 
That would be neat to hear. Terry, you'll come back on and tell us a little bit about that. I'd love to. All right. This is a great time to get out the family out of the house and out of the hustle and bustle. Go visit the museum. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And thank you. The Black American West Museum is conveniently located at 30th and Downing, which is at the end of the RTD's line. For museum information, call 720-242. 7420. Now for Tom's classes, his talks, books, and tours, including his Christmas jam.